Oh, good morning to you. Uh, is it good morning or is it? It's coming up for dinner time. Um, Wednesday, which, if I calculate this right, that's the fourth of October, twenty twenty-three, and I've been doing some driving this morning, and it's that time when gentlemen need to stretch their legs and have a little well a little break from driving and I find myself not quite by accident but almost in the town of I'm going to say it in English Saint Savin or Saint Savin walking on cobbles I'm going to walk in the road that's easier on the feet and we'll just have a little walk we're outside the tourist season so lots of things are closed now we're going to walk past the bank I don't need to go in the bank I don't need to go in the restaurant but as we walk around this corner we are going to gaze Skywoods That's a spire isn't it? This is the Abbey Church of Saint Savin And, well, churches are supposed to make you look heavenwards. And a spire like that, well, it's going to give you a stiff neck because you're going to be just gazing at it. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? And behind the trees, there's the, uh, the buildings of the abbey and in the square there's pink umbrellas because October we're all very conscious that we're, we're going to be aware of breast cancer and we're going to do what we can to avoid getting it ourselves and helping our nearest and dearest either not get it or be treated for it at early stages but I think it's only right and proper that if we're going to look at that spire and stretch our legs and take a break from driving that we probably should just drop into this church and see if the doors open at my battery life and my battery is about to uh, pack up so this might be a little bit more truncated than it should be And what I particularly wanted to show you in here was these columns. And these columns are all painted. They're painted to look, some of them to look as if they're stone. Or... But isn't that something? 
You might think about that style of decoration in your man cave, you know, in your shed. Um, paint all of the legs of your shelving and benches like that to make it look like assorted stones or assorted decorations. But we are reminded, of course, that we are in a church. We have the stations of the cross all the way around the building, as we would expect. Another wonderful example of carpentry or cabinet making, or call it what you will. Can we imagine a preacher standing in there? I don't know, what would he be preaching? Would he be preaching, I waited patiently for the Lord, and the Lord inclined unto me and heard my cry. Would that be a good thing to preach here? He lifted me out of the pit, out of the miry clay. Established, he put my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he put a new song in my heart. Now, how many of you feel a need to go and look at someone's tomb? As we look, we can read in the Latin, Aura Pro Nobis. And all of those of you that went to a good school know that that says, pray for us. So what we will do, we will descend are you all ready to descend into a grave? And as we descend, we try not to bang our head. Churches, you can walk all the way round the altar, and there are side chapels. I do sort of smile at this saint's name. Saint Hilarius, he was Bishop of Poitiers a long while ago and generally speaking in English we talk about Saint Hilary rather than Hilarius.
Ah, Saint Anna. And you all know that Saint Anna is the mother of Mary. Did you know that? I don't know. Did I get it right? If I got it wrong, please correct me. But always the focus is on Christ. And front and centre on the altar is the tabernacle. And the sanctuary light is burning, which tells us that within the tabernacle there is consecrated host. And all good Catholics will tell you that consecrated host is the body of Christ. What a wonderful, wonderful building. I'm afraid you've got to imagine all of the pews filled with monks. I can't organise that for you today. And perhaps we can imagine Bishop Hillary preaching from this pulpit. Of course, this pulpit was made a lot later than St. Hilarius or Bishop Hillary who's depicted on the front of it. I'm rather guessing that that didn't come as flat pack furniture from Ikea. I, just a guess. I've got a feeling that some very good carpenters built that. Anyway, I'm going to carry on my journey back towards Azay-le-Ferrand. <laughs>